Hey everyone. Welcome to my yarn room. You guys, are you ready to crochet a mosaic heart? That is what I decided on for today's mosaic. And this is because I've heard I heard some people, some of the feedback was they like to make something rather than a design. And I thought, you know what? Making something would be maybe easy, kind of easy to start out with. I don't want to, I don't want to be too, um, you know, difficult the first time around. Woo! This lighting is really washing my face out. Once again, guys, I apologize for the brightness. <laughs> I'm scooting back a little bit. Um, yeah, I apologize for the brightness. This camera is like no bueno, but Anyway, how are you guys doing tonight? Hold on. I'm going to get on my other phone here so I can see the comments. And I kind of backed away from the lights a little so that, uh, you know, it wouldn't be too lighty. Okay, I'm headed over to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? I am doing awesome. Okay, I'm going over to my channel. Let you guys know mosaic crochet with me and here let me see if i can get that light shining a little better on that i'm so high tech here you guys so high tech does that look a little better i have to have the lights kind of a little weird or a little uh brighter just to shine brighter on this uh on my white table here there let's see if we can I don't know. I'm just going to say hi to you guys right now. Okay, let's go into the chat. I'm going to give myself a thumbs up. Okay, live chat. Who's here? Hi, Samantha and Judy. Hi, Lori. Oh, Judy and Samantha are in the front row. Hi, Grammy, Colleen, and, and Vicki. And Linda and Lisa and Nancy and Michelle and Kaz, Michelle's Mosaics. Yay! Hi, Samantha and Kaz and Cecilia and Canadian Photography. Hi, Canadian Photography. Let's see. Hi, Lori, Lori Wallace and Lori Hobson and Lori Knutson. Wow, that's a Lori's. I bet the other Lori's going to be here, too. <laughs> Hi, Miss Jamie. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rose. Hi, Jess. Hi, Deneen and Shannon. Hello, hello. It's 9.03 on Wednesday morning for Lisa Nets. The time change always gets me. Oops, wait a minute. Did I bring that too far into the... Mm -hmm. Yikes. So how's your day, guys? Mine's been pretty good. Okay, big hugeness happened this morning. I took my car in to get detailed. I don't have my yarn car right now. But I took, like, I unloaded tubs of stuff out of my car. And the reason there were tubs of stuff was because I hadn't unloaded some of this stuff since we moved. I have a big problem with change <laughs> and, and, and moving is hard. <laughs> hi, Quilty. Hi, Lisa. So yes, I, I still need to like kind of integrate the stuff that was in my car into my house, but that will happen eventually. I found some yarn in my car, which is kind of good. Now my car is going to be all empty and all clean. So I can put more yarn in the yarn car. Hi, Facebook user. Facebook user, is this Brandy or is it Heather? Hi, Isla. Hello, hello. Oldest son is here visiting. Oh, you have a good night, Isla. I'm glad you came in to say hi. Hi, Verna. Verna's a lurkin. You lurk all you want. Well, I'll just be here jibber jabbering. I, you know, I, I think, you know, we'll all be here talking. And then I think 
but the only voice talking is me. But it still feels like everybody's talking because everybody's in the chat. Hi, Karen. Hi, Samantha. Oh, I already said Samantha. <laughs> Hi again, Samantha. It, it feels a little bit like a romper room. Hi, Lisa. Oh, Deneen, your son owns his own detailing company? That is awesome. I wish I lived closer to you. I would come get my car detailed by him. Oh, Samantha's working on a mosaic blanket. That is awesome. Yeah, so I will show you. I'm going to put up here my... Uh, I found a graph on Pinterest that I'm going to use. It's a free uh, mosaic graph. So, wait a minute. No, no, no. I think I got a picture. Let me see if I got a picture. And then we can uh, just go right off the pictures. He turned 21 on Sunday and he has owned it for two years. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. He's a quite uh, enterprising young man. That is great. Proud mama, huh? Okay. I'm a little bitter positioned, but at the same time, you see a little bit more of my yarn ness. <laughs> Scro oh, Rose is actually scrolling Groupon looking for a detailing company. Okay, so this, I don't know, here, I'm going to hold it down here so you can see it a little better. This is basically the mosaic heart we're going to be making. And we're just going to make a cute little mug rug. You guys like that? I thought that would be something, you know, not too complicated to start out with. And uh, you guys can make something useful. For a four weight yarn, you can use probably, I'm using an H just because I want to use kind of a darker hook right now since we're going up against white and blue but I would I would use maybe an eye it also depends upon what your tension is if your tension's a little looser I'd use an H which mine's a little loose if it's a little tighter I'd use an I 5.5 uh, and I'm using these are four weight yarns Millimeters, please. Let's see, 5.5 .5 millimeter or a five millimeter. That's what I would use. And then with things like uh, coasters and stuff, it doesn't. You, you don't need drape for the coasters, so it's okay to use, uh, you know, a hook. If you're debating between using a 5.5 .5 or a five, it's okay to use the five and make it a little tighter. Hi, Lauren. Ooh, a furl streamline hook there. I love the furls. Here, guys, I'm going to give you guys a little yarn, a little hook porn here. Ooh, it is so lovely. Look at the shape of its little furl's body. I want to get one of those stainless steel new furls hooks because awesome. Totally awesome. Okay, so who in here... What, Put the hand emoji, or if you don't have a hand emoji, just put, you know, something. Uh, who has never mosaic crocheted before? Because if you have not, you are in for a treat. It is fun. Super fun. And I'm just going off this free, this free graph that I got on uh, Pinterest. Now, if you want to learn how to read, ooh, let's see, never. Deneen has not. Uh, Judy hasn't. Grammy has it. Grammy Colleen. Oh, my goodness. Lori hasn't. Lisa hasn't. Not since you were about 12 years old. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Just order the new from Steel Furls Hook, Lauren. Oh. Yum. Hi, and Yarn We Trust. Facebook user, would I look cool? Oh. 
I can't see whatever emoji that is, but I'm pretty sure you would look cool. Only a few rows, says Shannon. Well, we're going to start with something. I think it's going to be, you know, pretty easy and basic today. Uh, you will definitely, yikes, did I bring my scissors in here? I know I brought my scissors in here, but I got my scissors. Okay, so I've got the graph, got the yarn, got the hook, got the scissors. Um, now, for tonight's purposes, I will. you'll just be crocheting along with me. We're not going to be showing any of the graph or anything like that. Um, an excellent place if you guys want to learn how to read a graph for Mosaic Crochet is either uh, Tina, oh, Tina, the Iceland Mosaic Queen. I forget what her name is. Just put Tina and Mosaic Queen in, in the YouTube search and, and it'll pull up Tina. And she has two Icelandic names that start with T after that. And then um, also Courtney from Fiber Fox Studios. And if somebody is in here that is a moderator and you would put their links in there, I would much, much appreciate it. But if not, I will remember my hardest. I will try my hardest to remember to put those in the description at the end. I should have put them in before. But should I cut a what I? Um, see, Karen says, I have not done anything but single crochet, half, double crochet, triple crochet, and slip stitches. So I am actually... You're not because all we're using now, it depends on, um, yeah, Fiber Fox Studio, Samantha. So it depends on whether you're using, what is it, British terms or American terms. Um, I'm going to be using American terms. So I use, we're basically the only three stitches you, Tina. Thorough Ditter Thorvaldar. Thank you, Ivy. <laughs> yeah, her. She's awesome. She's she's who made this, this mosaic. Um, I mean, she didn't make that one. I made it, but she's the one who made that pattern. And Courtney is awesome. But both of them do such a great job at teaching. I that those two, their YouTube videos, um, is where I learned how to mosaic crochet. Yay, Catherine! Hi, you will be joining us. Awesome, oh, Jamie, Miss Jamie. Thank you, Ten of the Queen Link, <laughs> and she truly is. You guys, seriously, you will love either both of these, Courtney and Tenna. They are. They are both amazing. If you haven't subscribed to them, I highly recommend it. They're, first of all, Tina's movies, Tina's videos look like movies. I mean, they're that well produced. And Courtney is just awesome. So, okay. Are you guys ready to get started? Should we get started here? I'm ready to get started. I'm so excited. I have never made this heart before. So we are all going to be making this heart at the same time. Now, it doesn't matter whether you use your, what color you use. I, I think last week I suggested that you bring a variegated and a solid color, which is what I have. It does, there's going to be color A and color B. I am, oh, and thank you for Courtney's, for Fiber Fox's link, Jamie. Thank you, thank you. Um, everybody, give our moderator a great big hand. Uh, <laughs> I am going to, I think I'm going to make the heart, do I want to make a blue heart or a variegated heart? I think I want to make a blue heart 
and a variegated background. So the variegated is going to be my color. No, no, no. Wait a minute. It's so hard for me to decide. I'm going to make the blue be my color A and the variegated be my color B. So just remember that. Pick one of your yarns to be A and the other one to be B. Uh, and the only stitches you need to know are chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, and double crochet. Once again, those are all in American terms. Well, hi, Ed. Hey, Ed, I, on the Facebook group, share, um, the Yarn Fairy asked for the, the, uh, what kind of tutorial arm I use. Or this is the tutorial arm I use. Oh, now you get to see my mess down there. It's but I put I put a link for that uh, to to this. I don't use a tripod. I use a tutorial arm um, in place of a tripod. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. Okay. B blue and. Variegate A is variegated up here in Canada. Yeehaw! Is color A or B the heart? Color B is going to be the heart. And color A is going to be like the solid color part of the coaster. Or mug rug. We'll see. Or can rug. Hi, Angela. Angela, what you need to participate is a beverage. <laughs> you know, so you don't get parched. Why, thank you, Judy. <laughs> oh, Ivy. <laughs> you should see the hot mess in my room. It's just crazy craziness. Oh, where's Kim? <gasps> Hi, Kim. Hello, hello. Okay, I think this is going to be a little bit easier, even though mosaic may seem like it's complicated. It's going to be a little bit easier than the, the last two weeks, which were the... Um, Entrelac Tunisian Honeycomb Crochet. This is going to be straight up single crochet, double crochet, slip stitch, and chain. And that's it. And, and, and scissors. But all you need is a yarn A, a yarn B, either, and I, for this, I got, um, four weight yarns for I got cotton yarns you can use whatever yarns you want I, I'm using some cotton yarns and uh, I'm using my five millimeter furls hook and <laughs> yes hey mommy drink um, I'm using a five millimeter you can use a five millimeter five at 5.5 millimeter either either one of those would be fine um, a mommy drink. That's what I would tell my kids when they would want a sip of whatever I was having that they really couldn't have. <laughs> yes, a mommy drink. A, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, have mommy drinks if you want to. Have daddy drinks if you want to. <laughs> oh, Deborah, awesome. Driving home and watching. So wait. Okay, good. Karen has that. All right, what time is it? Let's see if we, well, we got a couple more minutes. We could wait for a few more people to get in if you want to. What do you think? Should we get started or should we wait for some more people to get in? While we're waiting, I will show you my 100% mainstays cotton yarn. I also wanted to let you know that this would be great if you have leftover, like a, a half skein of something a quarter of a skein or something you can always use leftover that th that's what mug rugs are great for you you can use leftover bits i'm also using peaches and cream stripey and that's going to be my heart oh those new hobby lobby hooks i did try i did try that and i like them very much but they're kind of small in my hands. I got great big hands. So hi, Velvet. You guys, let me know. Let me know if I've missed anybody. 
Okay, chain number. I want you guys to chain 39. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch from my face being on here just to the whole screen being the being the yarn. <gasps> oh, Ivy, your whole lion brand order is coming on Thursday. That's exciting. Oh, Stephen Jr. is still really sick. Poor baby boy. I hope he gets better soon. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Thank you. Jamie's keeping me on track, you guys. <laughs> I need it. I'm like the cat that can't be herded. Okay, I'm going to start out with this color A. And it's really, yes. No, don't cut, Jamie. Don't cut after the 39. This is the one row that you will not want to cut after. So, you will chain 39. Oh, I guess I should get right here. It's going to take a, it's going to take a, a minute or so for me to get uh my, my hands used to be in right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. How does that look on screen, guys? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Okay, and this is the chain, so it really doesn't count as a row per se. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think this, this goes from being... I mean, it's almost a foot long. I would call it not a mug rug, but a rug magic carpet. That's what this is. It's a rug magic carpet. Now, when you crochet across, it's going to be, uh, you're going to single crochet 38 across in here. And then the one, this one chain right here, when you come back, is going to count as the first crochet, so you will have 39 single crochets. So that one right there is gonna count as the first single crochet. Okay, so go in the second chain from the hook and you will single crochet 38, I think it's 38 one, yep. Two, I won't count because we all know how to count. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dinner placemat, dinner plate placemat, for sure. Just crocheting away. Oh, I just thought of something. You know, like the song Slip Sliding Away? It's, who is that? Is that? It's crocheting away. <laughs> Crocheting away. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I tried for a little bit and it didn't work. And this, from here on out, this side that we're crocheting on will be the right side. Um, you will always be crocheting on the right side because when you get to the end of this row you will have 39 stitches across and you will cut. Paul Simon, thank you, Ed. How many chains? 39 chains. And you will start with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, crochet 38 across, and that first 
chain that you skipped will be the 39th. So yeah, you guys, this single mosaic crochet, for those of you who have not done it before, I think is, is much more simple than Tunisian, the, the two, actually any kind of Tunisian crochet. Yes, slip slide in a way. Yeah, thir it'll be 38 single crochets across Vicky, but that first, um, that first single crochet will count as, or not the first single crochet. Is my phone ringing? Oh, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, bye, Ed. Drive your motorcycle safely. Oh, I do my loops opposite. How do, now, how do you do your loops, Sally? Yeah, I. I never really have paid attention to how I wrap my loops. Do some of you wrap it over that way? And I wrap it over this way? <laughs> okay, we're getting to the end of this row. And I just want to count to make sure that I have all my loops. You know, it's best to do some, some extra counting when you're at the beginning of your project to get a solid foundation, straight foundation. So one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, well, that person's calling, but I don't want to talk to them. Is that bad of me? Okay. So, well, you know what? I don't know. I don't think I like that whole idea of doing it that way. Okay. Don't be mad at me, guys. I'm going to. I'm going to fudge a little bit. I'm going to loosen up this knot right here and make sure there's 39 single crochets across. If you haven't started yet, go ahead and do 40 across, but I don't like the way that that starts. It says it to do that way on the thing, but I don't like that. So I just loosened up that first knot right there. And I'm using that as a chain because it works. <laughs> so there. Make sure you have 39 single crochets. If this first one you think is going to be enough to crochet into, that's fine. Leave it. If not, what I did was I just took that, that first knot that was on there and crocheted into that. So I have 30, 39 across. Um, I kind of... Uh, don't play by the rules sometimes, <laughs> but that's okay. As long as you have 39 crocheteable stitches going across, then that's all good. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is, are you ready to start the second row? We're going to cut this one off right here and I'd say leave about three inches on the end and that's um because at the end of these little mug rugs some people like to make fringe I like to make fringe uh so I'm going to make it about three inches long and that's just enough to make sure that uh that there's enough to make the fringe with all of them okay so I just kind of knot it off. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I know this is this is right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a a good a good tie off there. That's what it looks like. 
and you'll be left with this. So now we're going to start with color B. You guys all got your color B with you? I got my color B. It's the stripey. Yes, they're guidelines, right, Shannon? I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to worry about pulling it out of the middle. Okay, we are going to start, and this is the way that I like to do it. I start, I just, you know, make a slip knot. And then I go in this first chain right there. And I go through both loops. And these are the edges. There will be one single crochet on this edge, one single crochet on this edge that are done through both rows or both loops. And so you just, whoops, I did grab the wrong, wrong one. So you just make a single crochet like that through both loops. Now what you do for the next 37 stitches is you single crochet in that back loop. You're going to cro single, single crochet back loop only for the next 37 stitches. Yes, Denine, we are using color B. So la la la, 37, one, two, three, four. I will not count out loud. Here, let me move this. Do you guys want me to sing? Should I sing a song? <laughs> no, please don't sing. Please don't sing Yarn Geek. It'll make us throw up. <laughs> it will make us vomit. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so today I took my son to get his back MRI. And um, while we were there, I saw a kid that I went to grade school with, like first, second, and third grade. But of course, you know, he's not a kid anymore. He's an adult. And uh, it was just weird to, you know, to recognize somebody that you knew decades ago and say, hey, how are you? Uh oh, I'm not seeing my uh my chats. Let me go. I'm going to switch over for just a sec to see if I can see. Where's the tube? Where's the YouTube? I have lost the tube. Oh no, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Happily, let's see. I hope, I hope. It's off to crochet we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no one is chatting and we're all crocheting. Yet the yarn geek mouth will not stop. You know, whenever I edit this to put it on a, a tutorial video, I'm going to cut all this noise out and it'll just look like. Yes, hello. I am crocheting and not making a lot of unnecessary noise. Myself. It just happens. Okay. Now I think the next row is where some magic is going to happen. Some magic is going to happen on the next row. And this is going to be fun. Okay. So once we have crocheted those 37 across in the back loop, 
we are going to single crochet in that last loop, but we're going to go back through the whole top. So, you know, just like you normally do, just a normal single crochet. And then snip. And tie that off. We see and hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I feel noticed. Okay, so there we are. Now this next row, magic is going to happen. I am going to, oops, I need to go back to that graph. And we are going to crochet... We're going to crochet 16 across. It would, uh, yeah, it would totally suck if you lost your scissors. Okay. So make yourself slip stitch knot. And go into the top of that first single crochet. single crochet now here's where it gets fun okay see on the project right here where that first you know we we crocheted in the back loop only we've got that first loop right there all open going down the whole entire row so what you're going to do is for the next 16 stitches you're going to crochet into that front loop. You're gonna drop down a crochet into the front loop of that single crochet of the last A color. So there's one. Two. Three, four, five. Yeah, double crochet below, Jess. Double crochet. You've got that pink row. You skip over that pink row and you double crochet into the front, that front loop of the back loop only single crochet. Isn't it a drop? Is that what that's called? I, I, I've never known if that's what that's, I've never known what that exact um, crochet action would be called. <laughs> but uh, if you say it's drop down double crochet, I'm gonna go with it. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Okay, so you've got those 16 right there. And this is, okay, if you can lay it flat, this is what it'll look like when you're laying it flat. And see how when you go down like that, your pink is back behind there still? Okay. So, the next five stitches, you're going to crochet a single crochet into the, into the 
back loop only of the next five stitches. So um, you want to make sure that you get into the right stitch. I don't know. See that right there? Just make sure that, okay, you've got this crochet down into that front loop. So I would go over to the next stitch and up to that single crochet. Because sometimes it's easy when you're when you're crocheting to maybe accidentally get into that stitch. But just make sure that that single crochet is hooked into the top of that, that one right there. Oops. That one right there. So then you crochet single crochet into the back look on back back loop only and one two three four five okay so you've got those You've got those five. And then what you'll do is the exact same thing on the other side. And this is going to be the bottom of the part of the heart. Hey, Kim. And so you're going to do the same thing right here on the other side of the heart. It's going to be 16 double crochets, drop down double crochet into the front loop of the single crochet. The blue one so double crochet make sure that you get it into the right stitch so um, you've got that pink one is next so you go down to the top of that blue oh yeah Karen that's good count the count the back ones to you guys to make sure you can you can never go wrong counting too much to make sure you have the right ones or the right amount. Okay. We're almost done with row three when we get to the end of the 16 double crochets. The sound of silence. Ooh. Simon and Garfunkel. Just on a roll with that Paul Simon today. Let's see, Karen is, so Mosaic is playing with a back loop versus drop down single crochet. Um, is is Playing with back loop versus drop down single crochet. Um, I'm not quite sure, but um, something like that. Vicki, your drop down doubles will always be the same color as the yarn you are using. Yes, your uh, the drop down will always be the same color as the you're using. So A will always drop down into A. B will always drop down into B. And um, oh, what else was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. But I, I will remember it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Unless I forget to. Oh, good, Catherine. Catherine, I was about to say Catherine, but it's Catherine. This is fun. I've never done a crochet long before. Cool. Okay, so then you single crochet in that very last single crochet. And you cut and tie it off. 
and you never turn your work. You're always working right on that very, this, this is the front side right now. This is the front side of the, of the mug rug, the, the mug magic carpet. And um, this is going to, this is going to be the bottom of the heart right here. So we're, you're going to see the bottom of the heart. Um, this is what the back looks like right now. You know, it's a little different. But it's cool looking back. You And you'll see when we're, when we're, uh, when we get further along, it's going to be really cool. Okay. So now we are starting with color B. We're going on this. It, you know, it's cool too. You could also, you could use a bunch of different colors. And if you wanted to, um, you know, stripe, stripe it, you could start with it. Say you're making a red, uh, a pride heart or making a rainbow heart, or you could go, you know, this one be red and then orange, yellow, blue, green. It's fun when reading a chart with it. Yeah, I like, I only like working with the charts and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking on a chart right here, Nancy. Um, but you can, I'll put the link to this chart. I got, I just got this chart off of Pinterest and I will uh, link, I'll put the link. Let's see, what are the things that I need to get the links for? I need to get the links for the, um, for the chart. And what else was I going to get links for? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to get those links anymore because Miss Jamie already got them for me. No, Kim, we don't have to weave in these loose ends. What we And it's really cool because, okay, before I start talking, I'm going to start this row. <laughs> and I am going to put that first single crochet. Now I'm going to back post single crochet into all 16 of these double crochets going across. Yeah, we're making fringe, so no loose ends. Yeah, um, yeah, that Angela, that's true. When I when I make my mosaic afghans, I I make an enclosed border. And Ooh, no weaving in ends at all. It's amazing. Okay, so we're single crocheting into the top of that blue double crochet in the back loop only. What is a post stitch? Um. Oh, yay, yay, Nancy. That makes me happy. A post stitch. Um, the front post. A post stitch. A back a back post stitch. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say post stitch, you guys? I meant back loop only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I confused you guys. Back, back loop only. Oh, Karen, I hope you feel better. Yeah, migraines are terrible. Migraines are awful. Yeah, back back loop only single crochet in the back loop only of this of these front of these double crochets. Oh. I'm I'm so sorry. Post stitches are when you go around the stem of the double crochet. So yeah. Yeah, Jess, I totally Thank you guys for keeping me straight because sometimes I say one word and I actually mean another. But yeah, what I meant to say was back single crochet into the back loop only of the double crochets. <laughs> oh, Deneen. You don't even know, you don't even know how you are going to be addicted to mosaic crochet. I promise you, you will be wanting to do all the crochet mosaic. 
Wanda is, or I'm sorry, Michelle watching us on the TV, talking, talking to you Wednesday. Yay. That sounds good. And Lisa's going to go to, go to the shops. Go. Let's see. Lori asks, are the double crochets in the front loops on the third row? Yeah. The, yeah, the double crochets. So when you went across, remember this row where we single crocheted into the back loop only? These double crochets go into the front loop of, of that, those back, the front loop that's left over. These go into that. These drop down and go into that. Let's see. Oh, yay! Jess. I'm so glad I got you hooked on mosaic. Let's see. In the are the double crochets in the front? Yes. Okay. You should pick up both the third loop too. There is not a third loop. Now I wanted to want to make sure you guys know I'm using the American terms and um that might be confusing in case anybody's using as used to British terms. I'm using the uh, the American, so I'm using single crochet American, double crochet American, and that might be a little confusing for 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 anybody who's using British. And I don't know exactly what those stitches are when you're when you're doing the British. Okay, so now th that you have the back loop only 16 of these single crochets done, you will see those five front loops of your B. Now you will double crochet into those front loops. So one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then, oh no, Lori, a whole row behind. No, what part are are you at the end of this blue row? Did a left-handed person teach you how to crochet? No. <laughs> no, I just kind of uh I don't know why. I <laughs> I don't know why I do it the way I do. I have no idea. But uh in some weird way it works for me. <laughs> okay. Now the you'll single crochet in the back loop only of each of these 16 double crochets. Lori, what I'm gonna be doing um is this live is going to stay on so you can always watch it and replay. Um, but I'm going to be editing like all the chat and stuff also out of these lives. I'll keep the original live up, but I will also be making a regular tutorial out of, out of this live. So, um, it'll be, it'll be a little easier to follow, you know, just like a regular tutorial. I know too bad. You know what? Um, whoops. Oh, I did want to let you guys know next week on the Tuesday night tutorial, um, my sons, I actually I have two sons <laughs> that are graduating from high school. And uh, we're gonna be at graduation next next Tuesday. 
So what I might do is um, um, I'll either, I'll do two, one of two things. I'll either do the tutorial on uh, Monday or Tuesday or Monday or Wednesday night, or I'm going to make the tutorial pre-recorded and put it up as a premiere at the normal time. So we'll just see, but but I won't leave you guys hanging on a tutorial night for that week, for next week. Okay, then that last stitch, you just single crochet. And that's, ah, oh, thanks, Deneen. <laughs> oh my gosh, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, I remember when you were first starting Mosaic, it is so addictive. You made 12 last year. That is amazing okay so this is what it looks like so far Ta -da! now the next time with the uh, color a we'll be starting again and this is what it looks like on the back you guys there's the row one where we, oops, let me get my crochet hook to point out. The row one where we just did the blue single crochet across. Row two, where we just crocheted all the way across in the back loop with the with a B, which is pink. And then the blue and the pink. And so we're on, we're going into row five. Deneen, Michelle, my worry is that I won't get my other items for local handmade store made. You know what you could do, um, Deneen, is make like mosaic scarves, mosaic, you can make mosaic hats, you can make mosaic uh, mug rugs, you know, mosaics, definitely mosaic scarves. Angela, my, my, high, my high school son graduated Saturday and my eighth grader graduates tomorrow. Kindergartner is done with school on Friday. Wow, you are super busy, Angela. Michelle, you will have to set priorities, <laughs> Denise. <laughs> I think you're talking to me, right? Okay, we're starting row five. Okay, single crochet that on that end stitch. And now you are going to drop down and double crochet into the next 14 stitches. Okay, so here we go. One. Yes, Michelle, you know what? I just got that pattern too. I had to get it. I was like, there's no way in heck I am not making that shawl. I must make it. And I just love her personality, too. Courtney is so fun to watch. <laughs> Jess, Deneen, everything will get a few rows of mosaic detailing. Ashley, of course I didn't. Did I say sunflower? I'm just so... Listen, Ashley. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to... Trying to crochet and read grab and read the chat. Ashley, I would never forget your name. Although I might forget my own. Because <laughs> I'm a ding dong. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I'm, whenever I make a lot of weird sounds over here, it's just because I'm uh, I'm switching my legs around. Okay. Now. There we are. We've crocheted the 14 in the front loops. 
Oh, Danine, I'm not sure what the name of the fiber fox shawl is, but it's her latest one. Go on Instagram and look up her, her latest shawl, either that or you can look it up in Ravelry. And it's the newest one that she's made. Okay, now you will back loop single crochet into the next nine stitches. Yes, this does make awesome afghans and pillows for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine and now you will just drop down and crochet into those last 14 and then you'll single crochet in the very last one yeah go check out michelle's mosaics and more to see all of her mosaic afghans she's really done a great job they are beautiful. I remember when you showed us all the very first one you made. Memories. You guys, can you believe it? We're actually making memories together. I love this. How are you guys doing on your, uh, oh, I, I forget that if I ask you guys something, the only way you can talk to me is if you type something in. <laughs> and that's like making you stop and interrupt. <laughs> Amanda, hey, are you doing the extended double crochet? No, I'm not. I'm just doing a regular old double crochet but it, um, I'm crocheting into that front loop only. Kate, oh, just completed the shawl and it's beautiful. Used a four weight yarn and it's really big. Lori, there were nine single crochets in this row. So on this row, there should be 14, um, start out with 14 double crochets, then the nine single crochets in the back loop only, and then the other 14 double crochets, and then that last, um, those end single crochets. And that's what it should look like on that. Yay, in yarn we trust. This makes me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna snip that off. Snip. I just love how squishy mosaic crochet is. This is why I thought you'd enjoy the thermal stitch. Oh yeah. The thermal stitch, that's the one that is that is your hat and uh, mittens, right? Yeah, I love the squishiness of it. Also, um, another one that's like that, that has a similar, you know, kind of squishy feel is interlock crochet. Not interlock, but the interlock um, that we had on the, that yarn hookers that time. And that that is a really squishy feel. Which, Jess, I still need to make. <laughs> I still need to make the hat and mittens. But you guys, you guys are going to love these hat and mittens pattern that Jess wrote. Okay, I've got the B. Got the B yarn again. It also feels mischievously fun to keep sniffing off the yarn at the ends, knowing we don't have to weave them in. I know. Isn't that great? 
Ashley finally got my mail to Timmy into the mail. It's only a couple of Karen Big Cakes, but hopefully they'll still bring some happiness. Aw, Ashley, that's so sweet. Aw. Yes, if I remember correctly, Ravelry has a very interesting group of interlock mosaic crochet patterns that are free. Yeah, there's, and if you, yeah, yeah, Ravelry has some, Ravelry also has some good mosaic graphs. Um, you can look up a lot of mosaic crafts on graphs on Pinterest. But before you do that, if you don't know how to read the mosaic graphs yet, I would I would check out um, Tenna or Courtney's channels, and uh, they have good tutorials on how to read their read the graphs. Okay, so this next row, row one, two, three, four, five, six. Row six would it be, we are going to be crocheting into the back loop only, single crochet, 14. So one, two. There, yes, Michelle, there are mosaic, oops. There are mosaic socks. I'm a compulsive frogger, and I have to admit there's a level of commitment to this that makes me feel really brave. <laughs> Yay! Brave Jess. So, yeah, there are even, there's a really cute uh, mosaic cardigan in Ravelry that I have on my wish list. It's really cute. There's a mosaic pullover. I mean, yeah, you can do mosaic anything so we're doing the 14 uh single crochet in the back loop only of these double crochets and then we will drop down okay so we crocheted into the back loop. Now we're going to drop down and get those, these nine double crochet into those front loops of those double crochets from that. Actually, there's two single crochet front loops you're going to be crocheting into. And then five double crochet and then two more single crochet. But it's easy to see those front loops. Is this a multiple for repeat 35 plus 4? Um, let's see. Is that what it would be? That's... Uh, I'm thinking it would be 30... The heart itself is 35, I believe is 35 stitches. Or wait a minute. The repeat would be 30, would it be 37 plus two? That I'm not sure of. Yeah, if you were going to make a blanket with these hearts, um, and that's what Vicky's talking about, is, uh, you know, when you're figuring out the chain for making your, if you're making a blanket, and say it's going to be five hearts across, um, you're, you'd want to make sure that you had the correct uh, amount of stitches. And so this has, so it has these ends right here. And there's one here on, on this side and one this side. So I believe it's, and then this, these right here are 37. So it would be 37 plus two. But you could make it 37 plus four. It doesn't really matter how many you put on the, on the, on the ends here. 
Okay, and then single crochet into the back loop only of these 14, and then single crochet into that last one. Michelle, I would use 37 plus 2 or 39 plus 2. Yeah. Yeah, you could for sure do that too. Okay, now we're going across, crocheting into the back loop only. Oh my gosh, this would make such a cute blanket, wouldn't it? With all these hearts. And I am using cotton. If you are using 100% cotton, just know that this is going to shrink a little bit when you wash it. So um, the acrylic is going to shrink, like, not nearly as much. Oops. Okay, then we get to this last one. You guys, I looks like there's 36 people watching right now in crochet. And you guys are the hardcore crocheters. Am I right? Oh, 37. One more popped on. <laughs> you guys are all the hardcore awesome. You guys are getting A's. You guys are getting A's in the crochet class. Okay. So there's that. That's what it should be looking like now. And now we're going to get our color A and start the next row. Ta-da! Jess, I'm thinking a great summer project. If I made several blocks and stitched them together for the season that is between winter and AC, where blankets produce much heat when I'm... Oh, yeah, like making uh, mosaic blocks? That would be cool. Okay. Get that first single crochet in. And then this one will be... This one is going to be 12 double crochets in the front loop. So, whoops, let me make sure that we're in the right place. So start crocheting across in those front loops again with color A, 12 double crochets into the front loop. Twelve double crochets into that front loop. <laughs> Hi, Juanita. <laughs> Yes, Juanita, we are hardcore crocheters. We are the rock stars of crochet. You guys are just mosaic blocks stitched together to make a blanket rather than crochet with an entire blanket. Yes. Words, yeah, words are hard, Jess. I agree. Ashley, haha. Ha, I wish I'd been able to start with you all, but sadly I was moderating again. Emily's chat. Oh my gosh, went over. 125,000 people? What? Over 125 people or 125,000? Because that's like, whoa, that is awesome. <laughs> Jess, sorry about the totally backward sentence. No, we understood you. <laughs> we were picking up what you were throwing down. Okay, so now... We are going to be doing, I believe this is 13 single crochets in the next 13 stitches. And these first two, you're going into the back loop only of the single crochet, two single crochets, and then all of the double crochets, and then these two single crochets. Okay, so 13 
in the back loop only. Oh, yes, ten of that. Yeah, Michelle, love her blanket made of squares. <gasps> 125,000 people watching Amber Heard lie through her teeth. Whoa, for five hours. Oh, yeah. Craziness, craziness. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wait a minute. You were moderating that chat, Ashley? That's cool. Yeah, I've been, there's a few, uh, like, true crime people that have been covering it, and I've been watching them. Oh, Denise, your son came home from his summer government job and is making you supper. What a sweet boy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and then you will double crochet into that front loop of the next of the last 12 stitches one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and they all play games at the ladybug picnic okay so we got four Holy smokes. Ashley, yeah, we've got a rotating team of about 16 moderators today. Amber's trans friend who testified, so we were deleting. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. And, and what channel is this, Ashley? I'm going to have to go watch that. I know. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, you knew I was going to say Ladybug Picnic. <laughs> and they all play games at the Ladybug Picnic. Okay. That's what our heart is looking like now. Okay, let's get the pink. Let's get our color B. And But you know what's cool, Ashley? I'm going to I am going to make this I still need to edit the other one. Um I'm going to edit these into kind of condensed tutorials of the live so that they'll just be easy to follow and and you don't have to uh follow all the chat i'll probably leave the lives up too uh you know in case anybody wants to follow along with those emily d baker she's a lawyer with 17 years experience and she uses cursy words while explaining what's going on to us law muggles Oh my gosh, that is totally fun. Okay, now we're going to single crochet. If you haven't noticed, every two rows, when you go up to the single crochet with the B, you're kind of just um, doing the opposite of what you did with this last row. So you'll be single crocheting into the back row of the next 12 and then dropping down into the next 13 and then single crochet back loop the next 12. yes Juanita this is mosaic crochet and um if you've come a little late never fear because you can watch this in the replay and follow along with it the good thing about uh, doing it in the replay is that you will be able to pause fast forward uh rewind so that that will be a good thing about if if you decide to go along in the re in the 
in the rewind or in the <laughs> replay, I'm also going to be making a condensed version of this uh, tutorial. I'm just going to condense down everything in the replay by editing. Ginger, I started over quickly. Please read out row four, color B. Okay, row four, color B is... Is that the six, 16 single crochet, five double crochet, 16 single crochet? Hi, Ryan. Lisa, that's what happens when you raise a bunch of kids. <laughs> you get little kid songs, yeah, exactly, stuck in your head forever. Um, mosaic crochet is, um, I guess you would, gosh, how would you guys explain mosaic crochet to somebody who's never mosaic crocheted before? Okay, I did the, the single crochet back loop. For those 12 stitches, now I'm going to front loop single crochet, or I'm sorry, double crochet, dropping down into that front loop of that single crochet. Boy, uh... Mosaic crochet is... Where you create patterns by dropping down. <laughs> how how would you guys how would you guys define it? Let's see, maybe maybe I'll look it up. Mosaic crochet. Obviously, I'm bad at at, at defining on the fly. Mosaic crochet. Definition. Okay. I guess it would be a kind of a tapestry crochet, but it is does it in a different way. Is a fun and easy way to create beautifully intricate patterns all using single crochet and double crochet stitches without having to change colors in the middle of a row. Yeah, like... Um, there are two types of mosaic crochet, interlocking and overlay. So it's like a different technique. You can use it um, instead of tapestry crochet if you're wanting to make something with a picture on it. Jess says, it's making a picture or pattern by hiding some stitches behind others, putting some stitches in front of others to recreate the image. Thank you, Jess. Ryan. Can you allow me to give you 200 thumbs up? Wow, thank you, Ryan. That's really nice. <laughs> that makes me super happy. Deneen, having chicken, cucumber, is it tzatziki wraps and avocado Caesar salad? Oh, that sounds really, really good. Kate, when I watch Tin and Courtney, it looks like the crochet very tightly. Are you working tighter than normal? No, I'm just crocheting. I'm just crocheting normally. Uh, and that's, Kate, I have, a, I have a very loose tension when I crochet. So I, you know what, I, if I was using acrylic, I would, if I was crocheting with acrylic, I'd probably crochet with a smaller hook. This hook is an H. Um, but I, cro I have a, a, a very loose tension. So, you know, I could probably even use, uh, I could go down to a four millimeter and I might if I'm using if I was using acrylic, but I'm using 100% cotton yarn right now, and that there's going to be some shrinkage 
involved in this. And uh, so it's not going to hurt too much with me using, having a looser tension and having the 100% uh, cotton yarn. If that makes any sense, you guys. Oh, dear. I just crocheted a hair into my into my thing. Okay. And there's what it looks like so far. Basically, if you if you hadn't already tell when when you're crocheting the two while the while the outside of the hearts are going like that, it's basically decreasing the color A by two on this side, two on this side, and increasing by two on this and two on this side on the heart. Deneen is using a 3.75. Aw. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> 500 thumbs. Aw. My, my thumbs, my, my thumbs are getting big squishy hugs. Thank you. How, how does it feel using the uh, 3.75, Deneen? Yeah, I could probably... If if I was using a if I was doing acrylic, I would probably use a smaller hook. Ryan, you are amazing. Okay, starting at the beginning of this row, and now I am going to. Oops, let me find my my chart. Okay, and I'm going to be doing starting that first single crochet right there. Oh, what? Mine was looking like a placemat, so I went down. <laughs> oh, that's probably good. Ah, thanks, Ryan. Okay, so I am going to crochet 10. Ten double crochets across here into the front loops. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb's Crochet and Knit Cafe. Oh, that rhymes. Deb's Crochet and Knit Cafe. Um, yeah, sure. If you want to bring 200 people to watch the video, that would be awesome, Ryan. That would make me super happy. And you might, you guys might learn how to crochet. Like, mosaic crochet. <laughs> and it'd be super fun. Nah, Ashley, I'm not worried, but thank you, sweetie. Thanks for thanks for looking out. You're you are awesome. You guys are both awesome. Okay. So now um we're going to be doing 17 single crochets in the back loop only. Holy smokes. Wow, my thumbs are feeling loved. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. Thank you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, you guys probably don't want to hear me count because me counting can just get boring. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. How are your guys' hearts looking? Let's see. I've got, I think I did, I did 17. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. And then we're going to drop down and double crochet into the next 10 front loops. Hi, Lucy. Hello, hello. Lucy's posh and crochet spot. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all play games at the Ladybug picnic. What's the other one? The where it was like a pinball machine and it was like one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. <laughs> there are new songs too. Who who likes the new Bluey song? Or who knows? How does it? Um, I'm trying to think of the tune. Usually I can think of the tune, but for the life of me, I cannot think of it. Hi, Carol. Lucy, I'll have to watch the repaint. Yeah. And I'm also going to be, uh, yes, it's Sesame Street, Ashley. For those of you who didn't hear, I'm also going to be making, uh, like editing down this live to make uh, a condensed tutorial. And so that, that that'll be super easy to follow without all the chat and stuff, too. Yes, it's from Sesame Street. We love Sesame Street. One. Oh, what are your guys' favorite Sesame Street songs? I like the one of these things. It's not like the other. Which which one of these things doesn't belong? Will you post? Yeah, Deneen, I will post the chart after uh after we get off here. I will post the chart in the Watch me jigger in the in the community post. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. <laughs> C is for cookie. Oh, how does that one go? Ashley, oh, I've actually done the narrow staircases. Apache Tears. Oh, that's okay, Ashley. That's okay. We just love it that you're here. I just love it that you're here. Okay, whoops, I went to the wrong place. Let me put it back in the right place. And uh, I'm going to be just single crocheting into, into the back loop only of each of those double crochets. It's not easy being green. And then drop double crocheting and dropping down into all of those pink front double crochets. And then single crocheting into the back loop only of these double crochets. And, um, oh, did you ever hear the, hi, Katrina. Hello, hello. Did you guys ever hear the somebody come and play? It was, okay, you guys, I actually had a Sesame Street record. C is for cookie. Good enough for me. <laughs> oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. I can hear Cookie Monster singing it. I can't sing it well, though. Deneen, Friday the 13th was my 17th anniversary. Running your daycare. Oh. <gasps> I am singing your every day. That makes me so happy. Angela, my son sang C is for cookie, but changed it to L is for Lucia. 
And Lucia is for me when she was about five months old. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Okay, now we're dropping down and double crocheting. Oh, but anyway, one of my favorite songs is I had a Sesame Street record and it had a bunch of Sesame Street songs on it. Oh, yeah. I don't have a Tom Waits voice. <laughs> I could I don't I couldn't fake that. I couldn't fake a Tom I couldn't do a decent Tom Waits. But um yeah. So somebody come and play. Did you guys he ever hear that one? Somebody come and play. Somebody come and play today. Somebody come and be my friend and watch the sun till it rains again. Somebody come and play today. Ryan, my my team will watch you for one hour. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ryan. That's so nice of you. I will have to go check out your channel too. Everybody go check out Ryan's channel. We all love to support each other. Yay. Lucy, I'm very slow at typing. <laughs> oh, bye, Jess. Oh, thank you, Jess. I, I'll post the um, I'll post the watch me jigger the graph for this. Yarn we trust. Finish up with the replay. Need to go pick up my son from work now. Well, have a happy picking your son up from work, Ashley. But my favorite is actually the male song from Blues Clues. Yes, and if Nickelodeon Nickelodeon wouldn't sue me into the ground i'd sing it before happy mail videos <laughs> yeah i think as long as you don't like make a habit of it every time or as long as you don't like really sound exactly like the person here's the mail it never fails it makes me want to wag my tail when it comes i want to well me Jacqueline, I didn't get in right at the beginning, but I was wondering for a long time how Mosaic Crochet was done. Oh, yay. Awesome. And Jacqueline, you can, yeah, you can definitely watch it in the replay and uh, and try it out from the beginning there. Um, I'm also going to be um, editing this down into a condensed tutorial. That's what I'm going to be doing with all of the uh, these live videos that I make of the tutorials. I'm going to be editing the like the chat and stuff out. Yay! Ah, oh, Dad, that's awesome. Okay, now I'm getting the blue, and we are going to do. Looks like we're going to get the blue and we're going to double crochet. Whoops. We are going to double crochet. Oops, first, first we're going to put that single crochet, the beginning single crochet in there. And, oops. Now we're going to drop down and double crochet into the front loops of the next eight. <laughs> yeah, love singing it about Amazon packages or uh, yeah, any kind of yarn that comes in the mail. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Okay, so now we have the eight double crochets and we're going to uh, single crochet into the back loop only of the next 21 double crochets. Can you guys, isn't this exciting when you start getting, when you start seeing the heart? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just noticed there's like 148 people in the watching right now. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, if you guys want to learn how to make this cute, awesome heart, you must, must watch from the beginning, <laughs> which you can watch the replay. I, th I don't know if you can watch, if you can rewind it right now and watch the replay. But you can definitely uh, watch the replay anytime. And I will be editing this down. I will probably be taking out all of my horrible singing so you guys won't have to hear me singing stuff. Yeah. Yarn always makes me wag my tail. That is for sure. Okay. Now we're getting to the end of these 21 single crochet stitches. And we will be doing the eight drop down double crochets into the front of the remaining eight double crochets. So, one, I'm not gonna count because, you know, counting can get old. I wish one of you guys was here so you could sing. That would be awesome. I guess I could play music in the background. Alrighty, we are at the end of this row. Oh, look, you guys, we're all throwing yarn in each other's windows. Remember that? How many of you here uh, were here at the five o'clock lives about a year and a half ago? Uh, it was when my, when my channel was pretty new. We had these awesome five o'clock lives. And when anybody would, uh, oh, holy smokes. I didn't get that very last shoot. What have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to add another stitch in here. You can only play non copywritten music. It, yeah, 5 a.m. live. Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Okay, I just messed up. I'm not sure where I messed up. I'm going to have to. Oh, look what I'm doing. This is how I'm fixing it. Okay. Oh. That was painful. Okay. I'm going to rewind this and see what I did wrong. Okay. Frog, 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 frog. Frog, frog, frog. Oh, I skipped a stitch. Okay, because there's one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. See, this is why you always want to count. And... I accidentally crocheted one too many single crochets. So I will take that out and I cut that little bit. So I'm going to have to do a magic knot. I'm going to magic knot my A yarn. Whoops. And, uh, Fix my boo boo. Catherine, I'm going to put mine under one of my plants. Yay! 
Jamie, yay me! Five o'clock a.m. live. Boy, that took some dedication from all of you guys who came every five o'clock. Yeah. Oh, what am I going to use mine for? I will probably use. I might. I'll probably use mine for a plant. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to use it for. Okay, there you guys look. Magic nut is not gonna is not gonna come out. Deb, new family member to you, Jamie. Yay. You guys, we are all throwing yarn in each other's windows. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Still waiting for the mug with a picture of a bird at 5 a.m. Curl on it. Okay. So, hold on. I've got to screenshot that. Oops. I've got to screenshot that so I make sure to make that. Oops. Now, for some reason. Yeah. The mug with a picture of a bird and 5 a.m. crew. That would be epic. All right. Sorry, I messed up on that a little bit. But it's all good. We've got. Got it fixed. And there are eight drop down double crochets. And now we're going to start with a yarn. Oh my gosh, a three hour long conversation. Holy smokes. <laughs> Ashley, wait, you never made the mug? I thought you mailed one and Lori never got it in the mail. No, I just still need to make it. Okay, we got that. And now we're just going to back loop double crochet into these eight stitches and then drop double crochet into these 21 stitches and then back loop double crochet into those stitches so here we go angela how close is heart to edge of project i just finished row 14 because my math mind took over and i could see the pattern but don't want to get too close to the edge okay it the um let me get back to my graph here, Angela. The closest it gets, the smallest that you get to the edge, Angela, is um, is four when you drop down and double crochet four double crochets. That's the smallest smallest it gets, and. Um, there will be, you'll do that twice, the drop down double crochet twice, you know, right there on, on the edge of the heart to make the kind of, I guess, the round part of it. And do you guys just love your mosaic crochet so far? I am pretty much loving mine so far. Just finished row 14. Yeah, you can see the pattern. Isn't it fun when you start to be able to see the pattern? That's what I love about using graphs on my, uh, when I'm, okay. You can use the same graph to make an interlocking crochet piece, a mosaic piece, a tapestry crochet piece. It's kind of awesome. Hi, Terry, just got home. Yay, can't go. Get some, get some yarn, get your hook. 
join in. Oh, yay, Judy. Ashley, I don't know whether to feel better about the post office. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's a, that's a, that's a real, uh, yeah. Don't know whether to love it or not. Love it. Ate supper and caught up. Yay. I know I'm going kind of, uh, I hope I'm not going too weirdly. I think I showed you guys more at the beginning and now that I'm getting, uh, I feel like I'm kind of neglecting telling you guys what I'm doing. But here, I'm going to count and make sure that I have the right number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yay! And then we'll be crocheting eight back loop only. And as soon as we finish with this eight back loop only, we'll put that last single crochet in. through both loops and tie it off. Ashley, I bought myself a little thermal label printer on Amazon. Oh, so you can address happy mail and not worry about handwriting on the address. That sounds like fun. Lori, Ginger will have to depend on spring or something like it to make and mail the mugs. She knows herself well enough to not actually take on mailing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am so, I am, I am the worst person in the world for mailing stuff. The, the absolute worst person in the world. It's ridiculous. Okay. Now we're, we're, we're going to crochet our beginning single crochet and we're going to drop down and double crochet six Rose I've been knitting a blanket the past three weeks it's not perfect but I wanted to try it oh the bloom yarn how's it looking yeah I uh I want to knit something. I've never knitted anything with a bloom yarn before, and I want to try that. Let's see. Four, five, or four, five. Hey, Facebook user. Denise, me too. I've got better at doing stuff because I make lists. I like to cross items off. That's, yeah, I, I even forget to cross items. Off. Catherine, that's up to you. If you want to block, you can definitely block. Um, I never block anything, but you feel free. I would, if you do it, I would do it after you cut the uh, cut the fringe. Okay, and then single crochet into the next. I believe it's twenty five. Yep, single crochet into the back loop only of the next 25. Love crossing. Yeah, I bet it is beautiful, Rose. The flowers don't match up no matter the no matter the count, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's right. The the good thing is is that you're making it and that is what that is what counts. Sometimes you just gotta do it. That's what I keep telling myself about uh, videos. I think to get back in the swing of things, as soon as I finish watching my granddaughter uh, while my daughter is teaching, 
during the summertime, I'm going to be able to get back on a schedule. I might have to put myself into a video boot camp where I uh, make a video every day for like a month to immerse myself into the uh, into the the videoness of it. Angela, I had to get more of color A from Stash, and holy cow, do I have a lot of yarn! <laughs> I hear you, Angela. Oh, do I hear you. Need to find a football helmet chart. I'm sure you can. I mean, there's it's like there's a chart for everything. There are even apps where you can make charts. Okay, I should have 25, so let me count. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, 25. Ooh, Lori, bloom yarn hurts your skin. Ouch. Now my mind is reeling. I know. It's, that's how it starts, Deneen. You're going to get, you're getting hooked. I can feel it. <laughs> Ashley, it says it was delivered today with my labels. Lori, I'm excited. I love making things for my Cheshire cat. I'm really thankful fiance is not jealous of me making for others. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I can see how this might need to be blocked just because of uh, it's kind of leaning towards the right a little bit. But it's kind of like that, but I'm just kind of, yeah, I need to block it. I think I, what, I what I would do with mine is wash it first and get it nice and wet and then block it. Ginger, does each heart round increase by two in each side? Yeah, it increases. Yeah, you're right, Jamie, it does. It increases by two every time. And this, and this the blue part decreases by two. You know, every two rows. It should be mosaic crochet hooked by Ginger, not Deneen. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm an enabler. I'm a true yarn enabler. I love enabling people with yarn with with yarn ideas. I got a lot of them. I'm full of it. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to. Oops. Go into here. <laughs> Yay! Deneen, that makes me so happy. You're going to make so many beautiful things, Mosaic. I just know it. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in the back loop only of the next six double crochets. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Lori says, Ashley, I can't wait to see your diamond painting. Oh, exciting. I have never tried that. You know what? I, I know myself too well, and I would get addicted to that too. Okay, and then... We will drop down and double crochet into the next 25 stitches into those front loops. And make sure that we've got them all here. Wow, you guys, we're staying on. We're staying on longer tonight, I think, because I want to get this whole heart done. And uh, I feel like I would leave you guys hanging if we didn't get our whole hearts done. And then what I will do is I will post a I will post the graph on my community tab and then uh, you guys go over and watch Tina and Courtney 
and I will I will put their links up too, so you guys can see exactly how to follow a chart. Because I know I'm not explaining how to follow a chart here, but they do a wonderful job uh, explaining how to follow a mosaic crochet chart. This heart is looking pretty. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, you know what? I would love, I would love, love, love is on... If you are, uh, if you join my Facebook group, post picture of your mosaic heart. I want to see pictures of everybody's mosaic hearts. I know I haven't been on Facebook for a while. I haven't been on Facebook or Instagram for a while yet, but um, I'm going to start. And and this is what's going to start start off. It's going to be the mosaic heart pictures. So. I'm going to count these to make sure that I have them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, four, five. Okay, twenty-five. And we're going to back loop only single crochet into the next six stitches. And then we're going to single crochet into that very last stitch and tie off and cut that yarn. Ashley, Lori, I'm a little worried some people wouldn't like it very much. It's very psychedelic black light poster looking. I'm sure that everybody will love it, but I've ordered others, which I feel safer to posting videos. You know what, Ashley, you, you post what you love or you show what you love and other, and everybody else will love it too. Lori, after I get bedroom moved, I'm going to lay free fro floating linoleum so I don't lose pins, needles, or anything in the carpet. Of the yarn that's a good idea hi samantha oh yeah you know what the worst thing is is losing a pin and finding it later in the bottom of your foot that's awful okay so this time we are doing four double crochets and then what is it four double crochets 29 or I'm sorry, yeah, four drop down double crochets, 29 back loop single crochets, four drop down double crochets. Okay, here we go. We're going across. Ooh, and then it's going to be exciting because we're going to stop increasing the blues. We're going to do a couple, we're going to do another four double crochet on the side repeat like I was telling Angela before and then we'll start making the two like heart the tops of the hearts okay so I got four double crochet drop down double crochet and then we'll do 29 single crochet across oh thank you Kathy Kathy you're so encouraging thank you so much have you been making the heart? I hope so. I want to see everybody's hearts. These hearts are all going to be amazing. I haven't decided how I'm going to do my fringe yet, though. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is and cut it all off even. But I might tie knots in it. I mean, I think there are several ways to do fringe. I'm just not a huge fringe lover, so I've never done a lot of fringe. But uh, I don't know. I might try different kinds of fringe. 
maybe that's something I should uh, study up on is the art of making fringe. Hi, Maribel. Hi, nice to see ya. I, I feel so bad. My husband came home from work and I haven't, I haven't said hi to him yet. Kathy, nope, not right now. I'm trying to watch three different videos. <laughs> that sounds like me. I'm watching the crochet preneur business summit stuff my brain is overloaded yeah she's really good i know a lot of people who have taken her her classes and uh yeah she's she's awesome okay got to the last two and now i'm going to drop down four double crochets one two Oops, two, three, four. And then we are going to single crochet into that last one. And skip. Oh, that was anticlimactic. I thought I was going to snip it and it was going to be so cool. And I was like, it kind of drug on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good night, Michelle. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And I will see you in the morning if you are at, at, the, at the Affordably Geeky Live in the morning. For those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure you all do. But for those of you who don't. No, I am going to be live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Central uh, with Affordably Geeky. Rose, I wrap my yarn differently than you. Oh, <laughs> it's mesmerizing watching you. I love watching other people crochet, especially when they crochet differently than me. And I'm like, Oh my God, how do you do that? Like if I had to sit here and think about how I crochet, I would just be uh, not able to do it. Hi, Cynthia. How are you tonight? How is everybody? Oops, how's everybody doing? I always love seeing the flowers, your, your flower emoji, Cynthia. They always make me so happy. Okay, we're on the downhill swing. We're on the we're on the downhill part of our run here. The downhill part of our heart. Did I tell you guys I got my car detailed today? I haven't gotten it back yet. We're gonna go pick it up tomorrow. Kathy, is that, a, yeah, yeah, mine's about 12 inches wide. I think I want to make it for my mom's little table. She sits and embroiders all day, and I bring her tea and snack there. Oh, and that would look nicer than a paper towel. It would. Terry, man, that's one more thing I wanted to watch this week. Between my regular tubes, the trail, the summit, and programs, guess I can sleep next week. <laughs> sleep, who needs sleep? Ashley. Oh, same. In fact, you and Julie are some of my favorite people to watch crochet, even though your styles are very different. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm more of a, uh, a very, I feel like I'm a rough crocheter. And she's like so, she she's she's a pencil holder. So she's like very delicate. Judy, I'm amazed at the way one color of yarn completely covers the other. I know, with all the holes in crochet, you think the other color would be peeking through all over the place. Right? I know. It's 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 amazing. Lori, hubby left to go to work as the live started. Nice. Cynthia, I'm so glad. Yay! Yeah, live tutorials are fun. 
Kathy, Terry, I know I have my regular tubes too. And now these extras trying to cut out a few more tubes, <laughs> the yarn tubes. It's usually the knitters. Whoops. Yeah, I haven't watched many um, knitting. I do like, oh gosh, what's her name? She, uh, like she'll usually have a drink or something and her husband comes on sometimes. Terry, LOL, that was supposed to be trial. <laughs> it's a winding trail. Oh, bye, Samantha. I hope you feel better. Oh, oh, why did I cut that? You guys, I was getting all cut happy and I cut that yarn right there. Why did I do that? Chevy Rail, yes. I knew somebody would know it. Yeah, I really like her. She's fun. I like it. Didn't she go down? Doesn't she go down and see uh, Billy the Crafty Floridian? I watched them one time when, when she visited down there, and that was so much fun. Okay. Do the good old French knot again. French knot saves my booty more than you will ever know. Chevis is insane. I would never skip her, but she is only once a month. She is hysterical and does lots of crafts. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Magic knot. Cynthia, thanks for doing this. Yay. You are welcome. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. One. Two, three, whoops, four, tell the people what she wore. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. And I don't know what the rest of it is. <laughs> All righty, here we are. Now we're going to repeat the last two rows. So it's going to be drop down four again. Kathy, it's, I like real time projects. Now you have it on tape and we can always, yay, yes. Yeah, and you know what I like too? <laughs> yay, Grammy, Grammy's addicted. I love it so much. Okay. This makes me happy. I have I have started many people on the road to mosaic crochet. It's just so cool. I don't know why I like I first found out about it gosh, a couple of years ago and it was like, "Oh my gosh, this Oh, why did it do that? Oh, you. Hold on a sec, you guys. This is going to be uh, a little choppy for a minute here. Okay, so I'm back on right here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What happened was my phone died. My phone, my, my regular phone died that I was using to, uh, I'm going to have to wait for it to, to charge up a little bit. But what I'm, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. This screen is so bad right now. As soon as my phone charges, Ginger Gymnastics. <gasps> Deb, all right, you started knitting. Kathy, I haven't heard of Shavas, Shavis, but we'll have to check her out. Yeah, she's she's really cool. I like her. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to keep on crocheting on this. 
right now we're doing the same the, while I'm waiting for my phone to get enough juice to come back on. Um, I am going to just keep crocheting. So this is, wow, this lighting and this focus is really bad. I am so sorry, you guys. Uh, but anyway, we're repeating the last two rows. Kathy says, Cynthia, Chevy Rail is her YouTube. She does knitting a lot, but does crochet and tie-dye and cross-stitch. And she's really funny and wild. Yes. She is, she is super funny. Honey. Are you here? I, th I think you went outside. Oh, yes, I love her. She was doing a thing one time where she had like a Zoom and she invited like a, like a, just anybody who wanted to come really. You just had to let her know you were coming. And I went on it. It was like when I first started my YouTube channel. It was a lot of fun. Okay, let's see if this, this is a, uh, I got 1%, so that's good. The new, oh, <laughs> are you talking about that? It is overflowing. Yeah, it's super overflowing. And um, psh, I, <laughs> Jamie likes Chevy too. Okay, let's see. My phone is turning on. I can't, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even, I had my other phone plugged in so that I could uh, be looking at this graph and I didn't pay attention to what was going on here. But in just a second, I will show you what the, uh, doing a repeat of those last two rows look like, looks like at least the first row of the last two rows. And then, uh, oh, Angela's gonna have to go for a bit. Bedtime for daughter, we'll catch up later. Okay, sweetie, I will see you later. Yay, I, yeah, I can see the curve starting. Need to buy a cart for cottage. Yeah, the project carts are like kind of necessary. I don't know what. I was thinking never having a uh, project card. Rose, do you watch any knitting channels? You know what? I have not watched any knitting channels and I really, really need to um, because I like knitting too. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> I'm so cracking up with that card. I am happy. <laughs> That's why my girls won't let me have one. Yeah, I've got another one too. <laughs> um, my other one is somewhere back there. I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Let me tie this off and cut it. I will show you what the first row with the repeat looks like and I will see if I can get my phone back on Lori my Hobby Lobby Michaels and Joann's trips over the weekend has a whole tub filled oh my gosh that's awesome okay well that's a little washed out but anyway that's what that's looking like yay Okay, looks like you guys, we're almost rolling here. We are almost rolling. And, well, I'm going to start the second part of this right here. And I will be using the B yarn. And it's going to be just the same as that 
last uh, B row. So you'll be single crocheting into the back loop of the next four double crochets. And then, okay, I think it's okay. I think it's ready. This is where the magic is gonna start again. Let's go to StreamYard and we will go to Enter Studio and we will enter the studio. Oh, oh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sorry, that was not a pretty sight. Okay, StreamYard. <laughs> Movable mountain cart. Right. Okay, I'm going to be like this. Entering broadcast studio. Oh, oh, I, just, I just. Oops. I, <laughs> yeah, Ginger, three, three-way chat. That's exciting. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get it going this way. And then this way. Okay, there. You guys, thanks for sticking with me. Thank you so much. What a sheep show. This is what you call the major sheep show. Bah. Okay, and we're going to switch it around to, oops, forget that this is touch screen. Do that and do that. And we are back in business. Yay. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. Oh, that was dicey. Get it like that. And we are now dropping down. <laughs> If you are on YouTube, you have a channel. <laughs> Once, twice, three times a yarny. <laughs> I love it a lot. Okay, you guys. So this is, we're back on the double crochets and see how it's going up, starting to make the the curve of the heart right there by doing these last two rows exactly the same. Okay, and I forget how many are gonna be right here of the drop down double crochet, so I'm just gonna count. One, two, three. <laughs> three times a yarny. That's uh, Lionel Richie, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's move this over just a little. Fifteen, sixteen. Let me make sure I get in the right spot. Oops. 
Wow, you guys, I am just all over the place. There, that's better. I had to move back to the right place. And then, you guys, after this row is finished, we're going to start with some real excitement because we're going to div be dividing the heart into the little humps at the top. And so that's going to be true excitement. It's going to turn from a triangle, upside down triangle, into a heart. And that's what we love. We love to see that stuff. Let me scroll down a little bit here and see. Let's see what a fortune. Hold on a second. Oh, holy smokes, you guys. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, on this row right here, if you guys, if you guys are uh, still following along with me, for we start off the start of the row with the four back post, or I'm sorry, with the four single crochet in the back loop only, and now we only fourteen double crochet across because we're going to be dividing right here for the uh for the heart bumps i don't know what else to call them so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i'm just gonna i just have to frog back that many so that's not that bad okay and then We are going to, wait a minute, what did I do here? 29, 29, 29. Okay, yeah, 14 double crochet, one single crochet. Okay, single crochet into that back loop. That, that's the very middle back loop. And then you're going to double crochet in the next 14. So there's just that one little spot right there that is not going to be a double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, Five, oops, six, seven, Devine, I've lost count of what row we are on. Eight, hold on. Nine, ten. Okay, let me see. The best way to count is to count these little things. So this was one, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen rows. I, I think we're that should be row eighteen. Ashley, should I take a nap or stay up and try to go live after Ooh. Well, it depends on how long. I go on. <laughs> okay. So that, uh, let me show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is what it, this is what it should look like right now. And let me make sure I had 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wait a minute. Why are there 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did I accidentally put it in the wrong one? What have I done? Oh, no. That's what I did. I wasn't supposed to go into that one. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, okay there we go i'm starting i'm starting to get slap happy you guys i don't know what's going on all righty okay row 18 i believe that is two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18. Yeah, we just finished with row 18. And now we're going on to row 19. Here comes color A again. We are going to... Let's see. For, start out with the four double crochets again. So one, two, four, five. Okay. Start with a single crochet at the very beginning. Oops. Then the four drop down double crochets. Oops, oh, I'm sorry, I was going off screen a little bit. Four drop down double crochets. And then let's see what exciting thing we do next because this is going to be a little different. Okay. Four drop down double crochets. Now, 14 single crochets. One, okay. So, 14 single crochets into the back loop only. And then in that one place that we did not drop down on the last row in the very middle, we are going to drop down double crochet. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hi, Samantha, 12, 13, 14, and then drop down, grab that one. Look, starting to look like a heart, you guys. This is so exciting. Oh, and I just frogged it. Okay. Samantha, we are making a mosaic heart. A mosaic heart mug rug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then you're going to drop down and uh, double crochet into the next four front loops. Yeah, Samantha, I will definitely, definitely put the uh, 
put the graph in the in the description. I'll put the link for that in the description. Had to quit to eat. I hear ya. Samantha making a blanket and it is called mermaid scale mosaic blanket pattern. Oh, I bet it's so pretty. Okay, got that row done. We're in the home stretch, you guys. We are so close. Okay, now we are going to, we're going to start adding more in on the sides of the blue. So, this is going to be row, oops. What did I just do? Okay, no, I'm fine. I just thought I messed up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> six, okay, six single crochets. Okay, I was looking at the next row. Oops. Okay, so on this one, we are going to single crochet. Whoops. Kind of messed up on that. This next one, we are going to single crochet in the back loop of the next six. Oh, yay, Kathy. Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, when I was trying to decide, I was like, what is something that would be easy and everybody would definitely, um, would definitely like. And it's like, oh, a heart. It has to be a heart. Okay, so I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to drop down and do ten double crochets. Make sure that, okay, one, two, I'm thinking about making an Alabama blanket and mosaic for my father in love. Oh, that's so sweet. Great little stash buster for gifts too. Okay, we will need someone, we need one mo motif. Motif every month, Ginger. Oh, flowers, stars, suns, pumpkins. That's a great idea, Kathy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and then um five let's see i believe it's yep five back post or i'm sorry five back loop only single crochets oh samantha um oh boy if if there are any any moderators still in here? Samantha, can you just write down your mermaid scale link? Or you can go post it in uh, the Yarn Geeks Facebook group. That, that would probably be the best way to get it to everybody. And thank you. I, I appreciate that. One. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, but I'm busy making a heart. <laughs> Yay. Jamie's making a heart. Okay, got that. And now, oh, nope. I was, why was I thinking of uh, cutting? I can't cut. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six. Kathy, you can always add it to the, yeah, add it to the comments when this is finished and posted. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. So, you guys, how's this looking? Now, we are going to put in the six double crochets for the next row going up. Oh, it's really starting to look like a heart, you guys. This is so cool. We're almost done, which is good because I'm getting tired. <laughs> what makes it Alabama? Is it for a sports team or flag? I think it's the Alabama with roll tide. Is that is that the Alabama? Jenna, I have a question on mosaic crochet in general. Not specifically this pattern, though, if anyone can help. Ask away. Okay, now we're doing the six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> roll tide. Ah, oh, thank you, Kathy. Okay, now we're going to, I believe it's 10 single crochets. One, two, and this is back loop only, remember, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then drop down and double crochet into the front loop of the last A row five times. Oh, bye Deb. Oh my gosh. Yay. Actually, Deb, it's it's on uh it's on Yarn Geek tomorrow morning. <laughs> what does oh the back? Yeah, let me show you guys what the back looks like. This is what the back looks like. Craziness, huh? That's the back. Have a good night, Deb. Am I going to make this into a blanket? Is there a Stitch and count requirements. Um, yeah, it's like 37, it's a 37 stitch repeat plus two or four. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Samantha, tomorrow morning, uh, Affordably Geeky is will be on at 8 o'clock on my channel. And I still need to, there's not a notification up for it yet because I haven't uh, I haven't put that up yet. 
but I will as soon as we get finished here, which should be hopefully in the next, oh my gosh. I have been on for almost three hours. I cannot believe it has been this long. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to hurry. Lori with the elephant gray. Oh, are you talking about, whoops, the Alabama colors? Okay, you guys, we're back to the hardcore crocheters now. We are back to the hardcore crochet. So, there's what we've got. We're getting our B, our pink. We're going to single crochet, eight. We only got a couple more rows left, you guys. Three hours for a video is easier without kids or babies or dogs. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then it's going to be, how many is it? Six double crochets. So, one, oops, it's got a, it's got a few more rows to go, Grammy. Grammy Colleen. So, hopefully, if, oh, thank you, Samantha. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there are 10 single crochets. So, wait a minute, 10, is it 10 single crochets or nine single crochets? Six double crochets. No, wait a minute. Six single crochets. Eight double crochets. Six double crochets. Nine single crochets. Okay, that's what I thought. Holy smokes, you guys. I'm losing my ever-loving mind. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then we are crocheting six double crochets, dropping down and crocheting six. One, two, three, whoops. Three, four, five, six, and then we are going to eight single crochet into the back loop. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then single crochet. That snippet. And tie it off. And now, oh my gosh, we're getting we're getting so close, you guys. Okay, we are on the blue now. Where'd it go? Let's 
Oops, got tangled up. My yarn is getting naughty. I think there's like three three more rows left. You guys who have been here since the beginning are freaking rock stars. Okay, there's, we're gonna drop down. Uh, eight, one, two. <laughs> so naughty, naughty, naughty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, seven, eight, and then one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, oops, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then eight. Samantha, I am using a Furls Streamline. H hook or five five point zero millimeters. Watching the Tiffany Hansen tonight. She lets me know when my heart is out of rhythm. Oh, oh, your uh your service dog. Wow, that's really cool. Oops, I forgot to drop down. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then crochet that last one. Woo! Okay, we've got that part of the heart done. Now, uh, basically, all you do, I'm going to stop right there. Basically, all you do is um, just do another row of single crochet across the top. Um, you can you can also, when you start out, you can make, uh, you know, a couple more rows of blue down here, a couple more rows, which I'm going to do. I'm going to make a couple more rows of blue up here. And I might add a couple more rows of blue down here. We'll just see. But that's it. That's how you mosaic crochet a heart, you guys. And like I said, I would love to see your pictures on Instagram. Um, I would love to see your pictures on the Facebook group. 
Now, how to repeat this pattern for a large project. Yay! Grammy Colleen, I am so happy. You guys, this was so much fun tonight. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, all of you who stayed in. Oh, here, let me uh, let me switch over so I can say bye to you guys. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to go like get some coffee and then go to bed. I know, I'm a coffee drinker. Hardcore. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I hope you love your hearts. And, you know, to finish this off also, these ends right here, just just however, if, you, if there's a special way you like to do fringe, do it that way. But, you know, cut them off wherever. You can braid them. You can make little twirly things. You know, just however you like to make fringe. Fringe. <laughs> So you guys have a wonderful night and uh, can't wait to see all your hearts. Love you guys. Night.